so here's what we're going to do. Um, you can actually see what I've got for you is, this is actually, these are the same graph. Um, I, I'm not telling you what the equation of the graph is, um, partly because um, that's sort of the point. You don't need to know what the equation is to still do what we're about to do. Okay. Yeah. Now, I didn't print it on there, but you can see it on the screen. Can you help me label? So this parabola here, we're going to call that f of x. Okay. So if, if this curve is presented to you and said, hey, here's a function, and now can you tell me what this related function looks like, y equals f of 2x minus 6. How do we get from this, um, this original graph, uh, to, to what this guy looks like? Okay. So there's, um, there's these two numbers here, the 2 and the minus 6, and we want to know what they do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I'm going to ask you to do is, um, and maybe if you use your red, I think that's probably the best way to go. <laughs> so um, each of these numbers does something different. Okay. Now, the 2 that's attached to the x, when you see you're multiplying something, um, we call that a dilation. So what this does is, it's going to make things um, stretched out or compressed. Um, so generally speaking, if I gave you an f of x, and then I said, hey, can you tell me what f of, say, x on 2 looks like? Okay. Um, what it would look like is the same graph, but it's been dilated or stretched out. It's, it's twice as wide, so it looks like it's gained some weight. Okay, yeah. um, And it's wide because what's being changed here is the x. And x is horizontal. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So if, um, by contrast, like say that was y equals f, that, like that, so I'll put a y equals over here. Um, this guy is uh, twice as wide. Now, if I said, instead of x on 2, if I said y on 2, okay, um, again, this is another dilation uh, because it's, it's a multiplication or division, but it's not going to be wider because I'm not changing x anymore. I'm changing y. So instead of being bigger this way, yeah, you're going to stretch vertically. Exactly right. So this, I guess you'd say it's um, twice as tall, right? Um, so this is what happens when you make things bigger or, um, if, if you're doing it vertically or if you're doing it horizontally. Um, now, if you have a look over here, what I've got here is not x divided by 2. I have x multiplied by 2, yeah? So you know how I said that these ones over on the right-hand side, they make things taller or wider? Yeah, this is going to get squashed in. So it's going to get compressed. So because it's a 2 there, uh, I'm going to say this is um, sort of, yeah, compressed. It's everything that used to take up this amount of space is now taking up half that space, yeah. okay? Which is a bit weird. It's a bit reversed, mm -hmm. okay? But um, yeah, I, I think that's that's an okay thing to say. So let's write in that this is going to be um, it's going to be half the width, I guess, is a way to say it. Um, can you remind me as well? How did I know that it's width and not height that's being changed? It's the f of x. Very not, good. Yeah. In relation to x, not y. Yeah, exactly. So you can see the change is happening um, on this prenumeral, not the other one. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. So I've got that. And then I've got to do this minus 6. So um, this is not a dilation. This is what we call a translation. So it's where it moves. In. Yeah, exactly. So we actually met this word all the way back in U7, which was a long time ago. Uh, it's about taking the shape and then, like, the synonym we used to use was we slide it around or we shift it around. Okay? Yeah. So once we've worked out how big it is, we then say, okay, what position is it in? Okay? Yeah. Now there's kind of a sneaky thing here, and um, we've got, let's actually use the space underneath um, the graph because we've got some space down there. Um, you've been given y equals f of 2x minus 6, like so. Um, and we said, oh, okay, it's going to be half the width, so we, we will work out what that looks like in a second. Mm -hmm. But that minus 6, um, it's, it sort of seems like, okay, you're going to move 6 units, right? But you're not, um, which is very sneaky, right? Underneath this on the next line, um, that minus 6 is not actually um, acting directly on the x. I want you to imagine kind of like, um, have you ever um, seen like a rugby union game, right? And the ball, the ball goes on the ground, and then they all get in this big pile, yeah. big scrum, right? And they're all trying to push the ball back and forth, OK? Mm -hmm. now, there's some people who are really close to where the ball is, and they're pushing directly on the other team. Okay, and then you've got like people all the way at the back, and they're pushing as well, but their pushing is kind of indirect, right? They're yeah. pushing people who are pushing people who are trying to act on this, right? So the further back you are, it's like ah, oh, like they have less of an impact, as it were. Yeah. At minus six, if you like, it's kind of 
further away from the x. So what we should really write is a factorization here. It's really 2 outside of x minus 3. So can you see now that minus 3 is actually directly acting on x? There's no 2 in the way. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you know how we, um, we said, okay, the 2 means it's half the width. We already wrote that down up above, but now let's put it together. Mm -hmm. Now we know that the translation is not going to be 6 units, it's going to be 3. three okay? um, we also know it's horizontal because it's changing the x, but I'm going to ask you, is it left or is it right? What do you think? Ah, <laughs> south right. So it's, it's to the right. Okay, good instinct, right? Now, um, the way I remember like which one it is, is um, if you know, you don't have to write this down, but if you know what this looks like, y equals x squared, do you have a picture in your head of what that parabola looks like? So it's um, concave up, it's got its little, the vertex, that spot at the bottom, it's at the origin. Mm -hmm. okay. Now if I compare that to something like, let's do this, right? What would that look like? Okay. Now I am going to draw it for you, you don't have to, but um, the original graph looks like this. x minus 3 all squared, um, it's different because there's a horizontal translation. Where's the new intercept? Like, it's not going to be here at 0, 0. Where's it going to be? Have a think. I need to think about what value of x. Sorry, it's on the wrong spot. What oh, value of x do I put in? Ah, positive three. yeah, it's at positive 3, right? So I would go, oh, it's over there, and then I draw the rest of the shape. Mm -hmm. So you can clearly see that has moved to the right, exactly like what you said. Um, this guy will as well. So yeah. everything is kind of backwards. You're like, oh, this multiplying by 2 doesn't make you twice as big, it makes you half. Okay. And this minus 3 doesn't move you to the left, it moves you to the right. So everything is kind of weird and, and reverse. So 3 units um, rightward, I guess is the way I'd say it. <laughs> well, upward, downward, leftward, rightward. Okay. Right, so um, we're going to do these two changes, okay? We've got this graph. I know the two things we need to do. Um, we've got to do a dilation. We've got to do a translation, okay? There's one last question, which is, which one do you do first, okay? Because uh, if you think about your order of operations, um, if you do operations in different order, you get different answers, right? Yeah, exactly. Like if, let's just um, think about a numerical example here, right? If I said to you, can you please tell me what is 5 times 3 take away 1, right? Now you've got two operations there, yeah? Yeah. And depending on which one you do first, you get a completely different answer, okay. right? Um, we know what the order of operations are. We're like, oh, you multiply first, yeah. right? And then you do your subtraction, mm -hmm. okay? I hope you can see here, though, if I did it in the wrong order, um, it just completely goes to, yeah, it's very confusing, right? You're like, oh, if I do my subtraction first, I get 5 times 2. And that's 10. You're like, what? Which one is it? Okay. <laughs> so we have to work out which one is first. Yeah. Thankfully for us, the order of operations with numbers is exactly the same as the order of operations with graphs. Okay. So which one should we do first? We do half the width, we do half the width first. Okay, so let's go. Uh, let's have a look. Now, um, this is the graph. And what we do, the easiest way to do this is, and um, whichever color you want is fine. Um, it, when they provide it to you, if they don't give you an equation, like tell you this is y equals x squared, whatever. They have to give you grid lines like I've presented to you because mm -hmm. you've got to work out points on the graph um, and then use those points to help you. Yeah. So I want you to look and tell me um, which parts of the graph can you see lie on like some nice neat coordinates? Can you see any that are easy to point out? As in like um, Well, you, can, you could give me a stationary point if you like. I'm really looking for things that line up on grid lines because okay. then I, I know what numbers they are and then I can do this halving and translating all the rest. So um, pick any point you like. Well, it kind of intercepts the x-axis. Yeah, axis. fantastic. So I got, zero I've got two four. intercepts, very good. So the intercepts are at 0 and 4. Mm -hmm. So let, let's just start with those, 0 and 4, okay? Um, and we will definitely, you're using blue, so I'll use blue as well, okay? So, um, <laughs> silly, silly question to ask, but it's not rhetorical. I'm halving the width of this, right? Yeah. So the x value for this first intercept here is 0. Mm -hmm. What's half of 0? Still 0. Still 0. <laughs> so I'm going to put an x right there, okay? That point, when I, when I dilate it, doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. Now, when it goes to the other intercept, you're like, oh, it's 4. So yeah. I'm halving everything, right? So what is it now? It'll be intercepting at 2. It'll be intercepting at 2. Very good, okay? So I put an x there. Um, find me some other points. What's another point on the graph? Like, you've got your intercepts, great. Are there any other points that you can see um, line up nicely? Like, 
the top of the curve. Yep, the top of the curve, um, the vertex, right? So we would say its x coordinate is two. two. So I'm going to halve that, and I'm going to make it one. one. Very good. And you can sort of continue this process, right? I'm going to pause for a minute and let you find as many nicely aligned spots, um, and then see where they actually should go to when you halve them, okay? Um, have a think, what other ones do you see? Um, There's one quite close to that vertex, you can see there, right? Quite close to the top. A couple, actually. These ones? Yeah, so you've got um, uh, this x value here is 1. Yep. And then you've also got, um, parabolas are symmetrical, yeah? So yeah, if you've got so one on the left, the yeah, you can see it on the other side. So what x value is that one on the right hand side? Uh, 3. That's 3, very good. So we want to halve both of those. So the first one is 1, it's going to halve to be Half. half, very good. <laughs> a half of one is half, good. Um, and then a half of three? Uh, one and a half. One and a half, cool. And now just before we go any further, because um, we're, we're sort of getting to the point where we've got a good picture here, um, you can see, you're like, oh, the parabola I had before, mm -hmm. you're starting, can you see where the blue dots are going to line up? You're like, yeah. oh, I have another parabola, but it's just skinnier, which is kind of what I wanted, right? I wanted half the width. Um, I gave you quite a lot of vertical um, scale here. Can you see one other spot which also has this mirror? Yeah, very good. So what's that x value over there? Uh, negative one. Yeah, negative one. So what's half the width? Negative half. Negative half, very good. And then Same there's, the yeah, side. there's the symmetrical version. So that's a x equals what? Five. Five, so you halve it and you get x equals? Two and a half. Very good, okay. So um, it looks to me, at least when I designed this, I was like, I think that's all of the points that sit nicely, okay? Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about, okay, what does this thing look like? I'm not, this is not the actual graph yep. that I'm going to end up with because I've only done one of the transformations. I've only done the squashing bit. Yeah, I need to do the second one. Yep. But let's just quickly get a sense for ourselves. Um, I'm just going to draw some dotted lines here. I'm like, oh, if I join the knots, if I connect these, right? Here is this sort of skinnier looking parabola that we were um, hoping to get. So you're like, okay, good. I've done um, one of my translations, and I guess it, it sort of keeps on going downwards like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. Um, so we use blue, why don't we switch over to red, okay? We have done the, uh, check it out, we've done half the width, mm -hmm. okay? And now we've got to do the other trans, uh, transformation, which is three units to the right, which in some ways is even easier than what we did just now, because you're like, oh, just everything, just move. yeah, just move it, right? So um, it makes sense to take those same, what do we, how many do we get? We had five points, yeah. yeah, five points, and to move all of them, three units, okay? Um, so let's just go from left to right. Um, that first one you can see there on the left, it's at negative a half. Yeah. So it when you add three. To, like, where that one is, you know? Yeah, it moves to two and a half, that's interesting. So I'm actually going to, you don't have to put this on yours, but I'm going to show in this other color, I'm moving that guy to the right, okay? Mm -hmm. um, instead of using an X, because I don't want to confuse the stuff here, um, I guess I'll put a big fat dot in, in red, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, um, let's keep on going from left to right. So I've got that, um, that thing at the origin, right? Yep. So it moves also three units. Everything goes three units. So yep, it's mm -hmm. going to be moved over to three. You're going to keep going, right? You tell me what to do next. Um, you move the half to three and a half. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So there we go. It moves over. You move the stationary point mm -hmm. to four. Yep, it was at one and now it's at four. Very good. Um, and then you move it the other point. The next point. <laughs> the Sorry, next point. Like, yeah. Um, the next blue point. Yeah. From one and a half to four and a half. You're sort of getting the hang of this, yeah. right? In <laughs> fact, you can kind of see the shape itself just sort of following the pattern that you've already established. Yeah. Um, so what's the last one? The last one was at two and a half, so it becomes five and a half. Cool. Okay. So now we've got our red points, and just like before, we're going to join them up. And this time, because this is our final answer, okay. let's do a nice thick line all the way through it. So I'm going to go. Um, and it's quite hard to make sure you get through, like, sort of thread the needle perfectly. So take your time if you need to. Um, when I, um, when I'm doing this on paper, oh, that was terrible. Sorry, I'm going to try and fix that. When I do this on paper, um, I will often do my first graph in pencil because it's easy, like if you screw it's it up, just, yeah. it's easy to fix. Um, but then your final answer has to be in pen of some kind, especially at the HUC, they scan everything. Yeah. And um, pencil well. doesn't show up very well. Um, guess what? We did You're it. You're done. That is y equals f of 2x minus 6. Okay? 
Nicely done. Oh, okay. Thanks. I'm just a bit of a genius. Uh, <laughs> great effort. So let's just let's just make sure you remember. Okay. Um, go back to the start. Um, what did we do? We had to think carefully about like. Mm, what are these? What, are what do these numbers right? actually do? Exa yeah, precisely. Um, and there was a sneaky thing in that, the way it's written, it's yeah. not ready to graph. Yeah, you have to factorize, um, and that's a very common thing because um, then um, your order of operations becomes a bit more obvious. And also, like, it's a very common mistake. The students will translate it six units to the right, not three. Yeah. Um, so just have to watch out for that. Okay. okay.